Well, today is day 16, and we are declaring the promises of God today. And so I'm going to try to move this this way. We are testing out some new waters, and Everything takes some time to understand, but all is well. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this way. I pray that everyone is doing great, that despite of what we're going through, we're still alive, we're still healthy, and we're still moving. I say we're alive, but I think about the other day, this young man said, we don't wake up on our own. You know, I don't wake myself up. God wakes us up every day. And he was absolutely right. We don't wake up on our own. The Lord gracefully wakes us up every morning and we should appreciate that. So today's promise is Psalms 103. Psalms 103 verse two. And I want We'll read a little bit more, but I want to do, we'll start at two. Bless and affectionately praise the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget any of his benefits. This one says, actually, we're going to go down to five. Who forgives all our sins, who heals all our diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you lavishly with the loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfies your years with good things so that your youth is renewed like the soaring eagle. This is a promise that is connected to another promise. Psalms, uh, Isaiah 40, verse 31. This promise says, I'm going to read you a different scripture, I mean, a different version. And it says, Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's. Let's go to Psalms. Uh, I'm sorry, Isaiah 40 31. 
4031. Many of you know this. But it's connected to this one. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in Him will gain new strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles. Raising toward the sun, they will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. I love that. It's one of my life scriptures, Isaiah 40, 31. But the Amplified Version just gives it that extra umph, like, of understanding. But those who wait for the Lord, which is to look for, to expect, to stand in hope in Him, to gain new strength and renew their power, they will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles, Raising toward, race, rising toward the sun. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. I love that. Just absolutely love that. It's another promise that God reveals that if we just look for Him, if we just come close to Him, that that is the promise. That He will renew us. That we will walk and not get tired. That we'd be, we would have strength when we feel weak. While we wait, while we look, we hope in Him. Let's see something here. Because I saw another thing. And then, Isaiah 40, 40 verse 31 is connected to Hebrews 12, 1 to 3. Where it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a, a cloud of witness who by faith have testified to the truth of God's absolute faithfulness stripping off every unnecessary weight and the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us let us run with endurance and active perseverance persistence in this race that is set before us looking away from all looking away from all that will distract us and focusing our eyes on Jesus who is the author and the perfecter of faith the first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God Revealing his deity, his authority, and the completion of his work. The completion of Jesus' work. I love that. So here we go. Praise the Lord all our soul and forget not all his benefits. What are all his benefits? Everything I just spoke. The, you know, weak, strengthening, up, strengthening us. When confusion comes, correcting it. When lies come, he brings truth. Everything that this world can hinder us with, the benefits of God, is sure to make it right. Sure to make whatever hinders us broken. Just like it says here, how sin, which is so easily and cleverly entangles us, let us run with endurance and active persistence the race that is set before us looking away from all that will distract us from him and focusing our eyes on Jesus who is author and perfecter of the faith the promise is is that when we look towards the Lord with all our soul because what we are realizing in this season that is that we have a soul issue it's not a spiritual issue we have a soul issue the soul is standing before the spirit, hindering all that the Lord has given us. Forgiveness for our sins, healing for our diseases, redeeming our life from the pit of hell. And then he crowns us with the love and compassion. And then he satisfies our soul 
our desires with what? With good things. So that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Ever wonder why you can see an 80 year old and they look like they're just still 60? That's because a lot of times they have found their youth in the Lord and they feel young. And so therefore they can do things as if they were still young. They've been renewed like an eagle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your promise. Father, we just hope, I'm hoping that in this season that we're doing away with all that distracts us so that we can become closer to the Father. You know, in Psalms, Psalm 110, the first chapter says that the Lord gives dominion to the king. And that's what it's titled. It says, the Lord, the Father, says to my, my Lord, the Messiah, his son, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a full stone for your feet. And, and that's exactly what I feel like in this season. That God is just doing away with all distractions. He's doing away with everything so we can come back and focus on Him. And once we get our focus back on Him, we will renew. He will renew. He will renew. He will renew our strength, our salvation. Anything that we've been diseased with in this world, He will renew us. He will set the Holy Spirit afire again. If we just take this time in this season to seek the Lord with all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul. It's a three-string cord that the Lord is looking for. He's looking for all of us. A complete wholeness of us with Him. And so, um, Psalms 103. I mean, even if we read, if we, you read the whole chapter, it talks about the mercy of God and why we need to give Him praise. So that your youth is renewed. So you would be soaring like an eagle. What an amazing scripture. Like, we can sit there and have a whole devotional time with the Lord, just seeking out. God, where, where am I weary? Where am I not fulfilling what you've called me to do? Where have I lacked in this season? Where am I? And allow the Lord to strengthen your back and straighten up your back so that you can walk upright before Him. There's so many promises the Lord is releasing in this season but first he has a few things he needs to fix in all of us and so I want to pray father I just pray God I'm praying Lord and I know you hear our prayers father I'm asking God that you would incline your ears to the prayers of the righteous this season. Father, I'm asking, Lord, that you would quicken the hearts and prompt them to come closer to you for you desire to speak something. You desire to reveal something. You're desiring just to be with us, God. And so, Lord, as we are sitting in the, the feast of your table, God, in this season, let everything be laid bare on the table so that when we come out of this, God, so that we would have clarity, we would have instructions, and we would have the ability from a supernatural strength that you will bestow upon us, God, to finish out this race with perseverance, 
with persistency and with our eyes set like flint to the one, the one God, the one man, the one that we are to become, Jesus himself, that we would behold the man, the one man, God. If it is true that our hearts have turned into humanism, God, that we have centered everything human and took you out of the equator, taking you out of the center of our lives, God. Lord, quicken our hearts to repentance so that times of refreshing may come and be new with Jesus. And so, Lord, I just thank you, God, that yes, there are blessings that you have given us, but yes, there is a requirement that you're asking of us. And so, Lord, I just pray, God, that you would give strength to those that you have placed a requirement and that they would say yes again and that they would rise above rise above to the highest heights and begin to reign as you predestined us to and so Lord I just pray this in Jesus name Amen so I hope that encourages you. I hope that gets you to um, ask the Lord some questions. Get you to seek the Father in a new way, in a new time. For there's a lot of voices right now speaking, but very few are hearing. There's a lot of voices speaking, but very few are hearing. And so in order to know who are the ones that are speaking, or should I say hearing, then you too must need to hear from the Father so that you know who's hearing from the Father. And filter out the things that are just extra. I think that um, chaos and confusion are on the prowl like never before and as long as the people remain in chaos and confusion they'll never fulfill what the Father has predestined for them to fulfill so we have to re remove ourselves from distractions so that we can hear clearly what um, what the Father is saying and so, I hope that we're all taking the time to press in and hear from the Father like never before in this season. Um... If anybody needs prayer, feel free to inbox your prayer request. As we go into prayer, we can pray for you. If you are struggling or if you've been battling with coming back to the altar, if you've been battling with being set on fire and not feeling the fire of the Holy Spirit, then I want you to join us. Wednesdays and Friday nights as we do our declarations to the Lord I will post the times for that which will probably be at night um, just so that everyone has the opportunity to log in and be a part of it if they wanted to but there are a lot of people who are not confessing that they're not feeling as they used to with the Lord and um, and now's the time to actually be honest with yourself and um, and get back in the fire so I think that's all I have so I bless you and I pray 
and that um, that the Lord will have his will in your life in this season in Jesus name Amen Thank you Lord So we'll talk till next time again We'll have our decorations being hosted On Wednesdays and Friday nights And um, I'm really feeling like those decorations Will be to empower you To get back into the fire With the Lord For those who need it Um I think everybody needs it. I don't know anybody who doesn't want to stay on fire with God. Even if you are on fire, you know you have to maintain your fire. So, um, Wednesdays and Friday nights. And um, I think that's all. Until tomorrow, then. We shall see each other again.